Yeah, and just how much we appreciate your visit to us every night and talk you gave. Um, it was very enlightening, and as a result, we've changed the way we do things completely. We're really looking forward to um, putting into action um, early points you made to us. So thanks again, Dan. It was terrific. When James and Rupert Murdoch appeared in front of the parliamentary inquiry into the phone hacking saga, we had two of the world's most powerful media moguls being called to uh, give an account of what their company was doing. And whilst both of them gave great representations to the committee, the way they put themselves across gives us a great opportunity to examine how two business leaders put their message out and how they come across in different ways. When you're the leader giving a message, sharing a vision, or in this case, being asked to account for your company's behavior, the strength of your stance shows the strength of your message. I've got a quick bit of footage for you to look at of the way James Murdoch answers the questions. I want you to watch the way his head moves, the way his body language moves, the shoulders shift side to side, and see what image and impression you get from that. Have a quick look was referring to the emergence of new facts, largely that came about at the end of 2010 as the due process of a number of civil trials reached their point where document disclosure and evidence disclosure made it apparent to the company and to myself at that time that indeed there, were, there, there was reason to believe that potentially more people had been involved. He's put himself across, he's under most circumstances, a pretty good effort, considering the pressure he's under, the world looking in on him. The problem he's got, unfortunately, is that his father, Rupert Murdoch, is sitting next to him. Let's look at the way Rupert answers questions that are put to him. Look at the way that his body is solid. His body language is minimal. His eye focus and eye contact is straight at where it needs to be. He doesn't bounce around. What impression does that give you of him as a leader? Let's have a quick look. Can you explain why? I didn't know of it. I'm sorry, I'm, I am, if I can just say something. And this is not, is an excuse. Maybe it's an explanation of my laxity. The news of the world is less than 1% of our company. I employ 53,000 people around the world. Body language is part of the equation. The other part is the strength that you have in your position. How well are you in control and in command of your side of the argument? A way that comes through is the way that you answer questions. When James Murdoch is asked a question, what he does is he answers the question straight away. He starts fidgeting before he starts giving content to answer the question. Have a look at this bit of footage and watch how he answers the question. Watch him tilting his head, playing with his glasses, fumbling with his sheets, speaking straight away, then starting to think about what it is he wants to say. Have a quick look. Well, clearly it was not correct. <coughs> Were any of them lying to this committee? The, uh, Mr Chairman, um, the company relied on three things throughout, for, for, for a period of time, um, up until the new evidence emerged. The company relied on a police investigation uh, in 2007, and this is before I'll recount this to try to take us back to that area. Now we've got Rupert, the man who's been there before, the man who knows how to answer these questions. He's asked a very direct question here, but look at the way he answers it. He gets the question, he considers it, and gives a solid response. Take a quick look. Are you made aware of that? I think so. I was certainly made aware of when they were convicted. When you're the leader, people don't look at you and say, I'm going to follow you because you had solid answers. I'm going to follow you because your body language was straight. And conversely, they don't look at you and say, well, I don't believe you because you were shifting around and your body language was moving. And when you answered the question, you started speaking straight away and played with your glasses and tilted your head. What they do is they go, ah, there's just something I don't like about James. He, I don't think he's telling the truth. He doesn't believe what he's saying. Whereas they look at Rupert and go, this man knows what he's on about. This man is in control. He's going to be at the head of News Corp for quite some time. When you stand to speak, do you have all of the armour that a great leader has when they deliver their message? 
If you do, great. If you don't, what is your audience thinking of you? Give me a call, have a chat, and we'll see what you can do to become the leader you need to be. Yeah. People John Lewis, um, Darren, just how much we appreciate your visit to us the other night and talk you gave. Um, it was very enlightening about um, our membership possibilities of the club, and as a result we've, of your talk, we've changed the way we do things completely. And uh, we're really looking forward to um, putting into action um, all the points you made to us. So thanks again, Darren. It was terrific.